Four and a half weeks after an American woman disappeared while kayaking in Guatemala, there are still no answers as to what happened. Local officials ruled that Nancy Ng drowned, but her family still has questions. And Lisa Guerrero went to the lake where she disappeared looking for answers. What happened to Nancy Ng? We're traveling across the globe to Guatemala, making the long journey by air, water and land. Very busy road here in this village on the way to the lake. All in pursuit of answers in the mysterious disappearance of the California woman. Nancy disappeared on a kayaking excursion on Lake Atitlan. When we get there, the sheer immensity of the lake, said to be one of the most beautiful in the world, just blew us away. That final haunting video of Nancy was taken right there behind me, only about 20 yards away from where she rented the kayak. The waves always come in about 11.30. Elaine Beal owns the company that rented the kayak to Nancy and her nine companions who were with her that day. Two girls went further to the east. She showed us on a map where she says Nancy and Christina Blazik, the last person to see her alive, were kayaking that day. They kind of went out towards the middle of the lake, not the middle of the lake, but and the accident occurred in the waters on the eastern shores. We watched as a kayaker set out in that same direction, struggling in the choppy waters. What do you think happened? It's just a tragic accident. They pushed off at about 1045, which was still calm. An hour later, the waves had started coming in. At that point, it's better to stay close to the shore than to experiment and go off. I'm near the location where Nancy went missing. According to Christina, Nancy hopped out of the kayak to go for a swim. Christina says she paddled over to Nancy's kayak to hold on to it, to keep it from drifting off. But when she looked back to find Nancy, she was gone. We're planning to go back to the hotel. We're planning to talk to law enforcement. I um, called Nancy's siblings, Jonathan and Nikki, to update them on what we found. And we're still hoping that more information will come in and that we can find Nancy and bring her home. Nancy stayed at this hotel. The kayak rental company is right next to the hotel. One question for the family remains. Why wasn't Nancy wearing a life jacket? The lawyer for the witness says that they weren't offered life jackets. Is that true? That's not true. We give people the opportunity to take a life jacket, and for this group, they all said no to taking life jackets. The kayak owner showed us where they keep them. I have gone kayaking with Nancy before. But Nancy's sister, Nikki, says it is her understanding that her sister was never given the option of a life jacket. We went kayaking in New York. We were offered life vests, and we both wore them. So I know for a fact that if they had offered it, she would have taken it. A volunteer search and rescue team has canvassed the lake and shoreline by land, air and water. But so far, there has been no sign of Nancy's body. It's hard to determine what actually happened when we're hearing a lot of conflicting information. The local police in Guatemala wouldn't comment on the status of the investigation. Christina Blazek, a public defender from California, insists she did everything she could to help and has fully cooperated with authorities, including the FBI. We understand how this could have been very hard and traumatizing to witness, but we do have incomplete information and we need your help. It was supposed to be an unforgettable vacation to a faraway yoga retreat where she could relax with nature. Just looking through her photos from this trip, we can tell that she was really happy and really having a good time. And that brings me some, some comfort. For this young woman, it may have become her final resting place.